fucking it, that's good. That's a fucking house cat. Well, <laughs> quite the pH we have here. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I have found for you guys a bandit fox. It's a fucking house cat. <laughs> well, it was. First, it was almost the neighbor's dogs, and now it was his cat. What next? It's a horse. <laughs> This was uh, one of my bucket list items. This is a spring hare. Uh, for those of uh, those of us in America, it looks like a, a kangaroo rat on steroids, basically. I didn't realize that they were as big as this. Uh, probably close to four pounds, maybe three and a half pounds. And uh, they are just such a unique looking little animal. It's like a cross between a kangaroo, a rabbit, and uh, a rat so uh, they're pretty little critters and uh, this was uh, something my dad always wanted to get when uh, we came before and never had a chance at so uh, looking forward to having this one in the house do a little little uh, setup with him and uh, I'm thankful to have him so I appreciate it we all nearly froze to death getting it but uh, it was it, worth it. It was worth it. Well done. Thank you. Well done. Yeah, they're quite interesting animals. If you take a look at the hind feet, they are definitely kangaroo-like. And, and the front feet. The front feet. Wow. Are definitely rat-like. Or like a mole. Yeah. Like, almost like a yeah. mole. And their teeth are rodent. So yeah, they are. It's kind of one of those critters that the good Lord. Uh, Made them out of all the spare parts that were left over, I think. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. So. Good job. Thank Eli. you. Very, very happy to have this little guy. Well done. We're going to name him uh, Donnie the Spring Hair. Okay. Let's go and get Donnie in the skinning shed. <laughs> right there. There they are. Holy cow. Right in front of you, Mama. Right on the window. One's got a kudu horn in his mouth. He's fucking eating He's a kudu horn. Oh shit, you're not. You just caught a kudu. Yeah? <laughs> that one on the left is eating a kudu horn, Mom. <laughs> Duck, is it? You want your glasses? Yeah. Suck it on it. Do they get darker as they age? Yeah. But this property has got a it's got a really, really dark gene pool. Mm. Yeah. I think it's it's even from a young age they darker than most other properties giraffe. Um, but it's interesting. This area it's got a lot of dark rocks and I don't know, the giraffes are really dark here yeah. and then back in the Kalahari with the red sands and it's uh, lighter. 
the color of the sand is lighter, the giraffes are lighter, so I don't know if it's got something to do with their feeding or what, but this gene pool here yeah, is definitely some of the most dark giraffe that you'll ever see. Oh. It's just, there's a, we've gone and drive forward, there's, a, there's some more there off to the left, there's a big male here that is, is really dark. You guys know they got the same amount of vertebrae than a human. Yeah, That's gonna, I heard that. Yeah. That's crazy. Mm -hmm. Just look at that big boy. so much for the, the giraffes. They were very different than what I was expecting. A lot bigger than I expected. <laughs> much bigger than the one I gave you yesterday. Yes. <laughs> but that one will be my favorite. <laughs> Here we are. Last, uh, last evening in Africa, or at least on safari. We'll be stuck in the airport tomorrow, but uh, what is this? Nine big beautiful critters in eight days. Beautiful trophies. It's been a heck of a hunt. Uh, I didn't think I'd see a buffalo bigger than Joshy's when he got his first morning out, 43 inches. And then Jack, uh, I guess, speaks buffalo and went and found this 44 inch bull. And I couldn't say no, and now I'm crying. But I was crying last night, and I'm still crying. But, uh, I'm thankful for it, and I'm thankful for this trip. It's been a wonderful trip and a wonderful experience. It's been great to have Mom here and Sheila here to, to share it with us. And uh, uh, a great PH, wonderful tracker, and our film crew has been absolutely wonderful guests and hosts and taking care of us and going out of their way and making this whole experience just absolutely wonderful. It has been amazing. The amount of service that we've received has just been mind-boggling compared to what you expect in the States. And I just can't say enough nice thing about the crew here. Y'all have been fantastic. So that's Safari 2023. Uh, we'll do Safari 2027, maybe. <laughs> 2028. Josh, he needs a 50th on his 50th, so... We'll get a 50-inch bull on his 50th, but that'll be a few years. We'll bank up some money for that one. <laughs> yes.
Navidad. That's a fucking ass cat. <laughs> <laughs> Be your guide. His name is Levi. Get all this in. Um, he's, a, he's a deep mute. He's got really good eyes. So you must just listen and watch out for him. Okay. So yeah, meet him. He's too nice to meet you.